as Jan said, so that I was presenting my company, Aurelia Turbines, in Eco Summit 2014 already. We were then a small company with a great idea, but that's about it. Now we are still a startup, having a great idea, good technology that we have been able to test, and we have quite a few customers as well. So there's been some development. Um, what we are making is, is a small gas turbine. That's a product of ours. So it's a very high uh, efficient that it has, uh, more than 40% on, on 400 kW uh, turbine, which is quite unusual uh, on the market. We are focusing on uh, such customers where we can take the, the benefit of this turbine technology on a smaller scale so that there's hardly any competition towards us. And we have a, a set so that we have a very strong demand of our products. Our market is cogeneration. So you know that when you're making power and heat together, then everything can be a lot cheaper, a lot more efficient, and so forth. And if you have a big, say, chemical plant or oil refinery or something like that one, you're able to make with a big gas turbine power and steam. In smaller houses, residential homes, you are make, able to make a similar thing with a, with a small gas engine, and then you make hot water. But if you have, say, a food industry site where you make something food, or you, you have a brewery, or you have roasted so that you make a coffee beans or something, then your steam need might be on the level of, say, 3 megawatts, 4 megawatts in terms of, of firing power, and there you cannot make any code generation with the existing technology. And this is where we come to play. So this is our market. IEA just recently, in December last year, uh, made an estimation that the, the uh, potential of this saving worldwide in this small and medium-sized industrial sites is somewhere between 7 and 22 exajoules per year. Hands up how many zeros there are in exajoules? 18. A lot. So <clears throat> this explains it all. So with, with gas engines, you can't do steam. Uh, the gas turbines usually, even the smallest ones that are shown here, they are too, too big. The micro turbines don't make enough power versus heat. And we are there in the, in the sweet spot of the market. I told you that we have customers. Here's an evidence. This is one customer that has calculated that if they make one side with our turbine and the heat recovery boiler after it, they are able to make, get the payback of the whole installation with two, within two years. And this site is working only five days a week. So if it was working 24-7, the payback time would be 1.6 years. Not bad. How we do it? The turbine, unlike the micro turbines on the market, we have two shafts. So it is a two-spool, uh, two-stage gas turbine. There's an intercooler between the compressors. And there's a recuperator uh, after the, the um, low pressure turbine to heat up the, the uh, gases going to the combustion chamber. The efficiencies that we are able to reach are more than 40% on the 400 kW uh, turbine. And what is even more beneficial is that the uh, partial load efficiency is very, very, very wide, uh, this, this window. And this is how it looks like. This is the turbine we have at the moment in, in La Peranda. The technology has been developed by the university over there in Finland. Um, what also has changed after our last uh, time was that we were then thinking in, in London that, okay, we will manufacture the turbines by ourselves and so forth. Uh, we won't. The idea is that we are making this together with our partners. So we have strategic partners that are providing quite a lot of the technology, already proven technology, to our partners that then assemble the turbine. So we are like a virtual turbine manufacturer, and this enables us quite, quite rapid growth. Team, I'm very pr proud of it. So I'm the founder and the CEO of the company. Uh, Tony Hines, our commercial director, uh, former uh, managing director of Bowman Turbines, and after that has had C-level positions in companies like Capstone Corporation, which is the largest microturbine provider in the world, uh, Calnetics Power, uh, GE, and so forth. Uh, Marika Kallar, uh, our operations director, former Nokia person, um, and also being a change consultant in, in CGI, and now running the operations of the company, that how we are making this whole manufacturing working on. And Professor Parkman that takes care about the development of the product. So that's it. We have just raised uh, some capital so that we closed our last financing round this uh, year, February. But being a startup, we are certainly looking for after some financing also uh, still this year. 
and as said, so that we are starting the shipments of the product uh, later this year. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Matty. Thank you.